Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to this morning yoga feel good flow practice. We'll be working a balanced mix of strength and flexibility to start your day off right. So let's come to a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes, bring your hands together, a long deep breath in. As you exhale, let's rest the hands down. Tune into your breath, your body, your mind, and allow this intention to start the practice with a sense of alignment and presence. And then a long, deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's open the eyes. Let's get started on the hands and knees. So let's start off on the hands and knees and we'll roll through the spinal extension and flexion known as cat and cow. Inhale, extend the spine, a long deep breath in. Exhale, round all the way under. Inhale again, extend a long deep breath in. Exhale, round all the way under. Last one, inhale, extend a long deep breath in. Exhale, round under. Come on back to neutral position, that's good. And then we're gonna curl the toes under and inhale, lift the hips up to downward facing dog. Five breaths in downward dog. We'll stay here. We have one deep breath in and a deep breath out. Roll the shoulder blades away from each other. Two, soften through the neck and make sure you're pushing back into the feet. Three, four, we're almost there. Five, let's switch the gaze forward. Inhale, step your right foot forward, come up onto your fingertips. Exhale, your left knee comes on the ground. Let's point the left toes. Inhale, let's lift the torso up. Interlace the fingers behind your back. And we are now in Anjanayasana, or the crescent lunge. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, don't push too hard, just be here. Two, keep the navel in, nice and easy. Three, that's good, keep breathing. Four, almost there. Five, release your hands. Let's take the left hand on the ground, pivot forward. So you're gonna roll the left side of the pelvis down, reach back with your right hand. Let's hold on to the left foot. You can look behind you. One, deep breath in, deep breath out. Two, don't overdo the twist, just breathe and feel. Three, we're almost there, keep breathing. Four, nice, good work. And five, exhale, let's let it go. Curl the left toes under, let's bring it forward, taking your right hand down. Inhale, find your way back to plank. Let's hold plank for five breaths. One, two, chest a little bit forward, three, Four, five, exhale, bend your elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing, a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, a big breath out. Nice. Calm the mind, steady breathing. Now we prepare to switch the sides. Switch your gaze forward, inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, right knee on the ground. Come up onto your fingertips, point the right toes. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up so we can get that feeling of your chest. Elevating the ribs, moving away from the hips, interlace your fingers. Chest lifts up, one. Don't overdo it, just get the feeling of spaciousness around the rib cage, three. Sink down a little bit into the hips. Four, we're almost there. 
five, good job. Exhale, let's take that right hand down. Take a moment and you're gonna drop into the right side of the hip, so that right side of the pelvis kind of drops into the ground, then reach back behind you, left hand to the right foot, and we can lightly look back and breathe. One, two, observe the sensations, don't overdo it. If you can't reach your foot, you can always use a strap to hold back onto the foot. Three, keep the navel drawn in. Four, don't rush, deep, steady breaths. Five, let's switch the gaze forward. Take both hands down. We're gonna come back to plank again. So let's inhale all the way back to plank. Nicely done. Hold there for one, two, three, Four, keep moving the chest a little forward. Five, exhale, bend your elbows. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing, a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, a big breath out. Nice. Keep the mind again calm, steady breathing. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Now we're gonna put that left heel on the ground. Keep the right hand on the ground. Open and extend into extended side angle pose. Stay here breathing, one. If it's too much to keep the right hand on the ground flat, you can come up onto your fingertips or you can press your hand onto a block or hook the forearm up on your right knee. Gazing, breathing, two, three, <clears throat> Four, almost there. Five, take your left hand on the ground. Now we're gonna spin the left foot forward. Now let's twist. We can keep it as an open twist or if you wanna challenge your balance a little bit, hands in prayer and you can look behind you. One, this challenges the balance a lot actually. Two, <laughs> three, four, keep breathing. Five, exhale, take the hands down. Inhale, back to plank. Find your plank, stabilize. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left foot forward. Let's scoot that right heel down, coming down and extend. Find that extended side angle, Parsvakonasana. A posture, one, two, finding your movement in, three, Four, almost there. Five, take the right hand down. You can spin forward. Open twists is an option or reach over, finding the balance and then hands in prayer, gazing behind you. One, try to keep the right knee straight. Two, weight keeps pushing forward. Three, if you lose your balance, sink the right knee down. Four, almost there. Try to draw the navel a little in. Five, exhale, hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, all the way out. Switch the gaze forward, press into the shoulders. Inhale, come forward, cross your feet. Exhale, sit down. Extend the legs. We're in dandasana position, hands next to the hips. Chin down, chest comes up, flex your feet. One, two, deep breathing, three, four, five. Switch your gaze forward, hold on to your big toes. Paschimottanasana, our forward fold. Inhale, straight arms prepare, a big breath in, exhale, fold. Very good, deep breaths, one, release through the back, two, three, four, five. 
Inhale, let's straighten the arms. Exhale here, release your feet, separate the feet. Good, maybe you wanna use the blocks for this one. We can place the chest on the block, reach over, holding onto the outsides of the feet. This is Upavishta Konasana, the feet are separated into a V shape. Exhale, forward fold, we can put the chest on the block. If you decide you don't need it, move it over to the side, a big breath in. Exhale, fold, one. Gaze at the nose tip, two. Deep breathing, three, four, almost there, five, inhale, lift the center of the chest up, exhale here, let's bend the knees, bring the feet together, we're now in Baddha Konasana, inhale, a big breath in, keep the spine relatively straight, stay here, breathe, one, Two, three, four, almost there, five. Now let's fold forward. Exhale, a little forward fold, pivot at the hip joints, lead with the chest. Good, we can gaze down at the nose tip. One, two, observing the sensations, three, Four, almost there, a little bit further. Five, good job. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Exhale, cross your feet. Inhale, let's pick it up. Find your way back, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, a big breath in. Downward facing, a big breath out. Exhale, place the elbows down. All the way back, dolphin plank. Hold for five, one. Two, shoulders are strong. Three, draw the navel in. Four, don't give up. Five, walk it forward, find your dolphin. One, two, a little forward into the shoulders. Three, steady. Four, five, bend your knees. Let's plug the knees right onto the triceps. And you can hold it there, or if you're feeling it, shoulders engage, chest is forward, lift your feet, baby bakasana. One, two, three, don't give up, four, five. Exhale down, all the way back, find your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, a big breath in. Downward facing. A big breath out. Exhale, knees down. Hands together, puppy pose. Reach forward, forward, forward. Forehead on the ground to start. And then eventually your chest. Hold. One. Two. Release through the shoulders. Press the armpits towards the ground. Four. We're almost there. Five. All the way down on the stomach. Inhale, cobra pose. Good job. Deep breaths. One. Two, expand, lengthen, three, almost there, four, and five, relax. Roll all the way over on the back. And then, constructive rest position for a moment. Your sacrum is on the ground, your knees spiral in. A few breaths here to collect. Mind is calm, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, let's draw the knees into the chest, giving yourself a little squeeze. Extend the legs. We can stay in Viparita Karani or rolling through the hip joints. Find your shoulder stand, five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five, if you're in shoulder stand, let's come on back down, Viparita Karani again for a moment. Legs up, catch the breath, bend the knees, feet on the ground. Allow yourself again a deep breath in, deep breath out. Mind is calm. Extend the arms and legs, let's take rest. <clears throat> Notice the peaks and the valleys, the places where there was a lot of energy. Notice the places where 
the body meta challenge, places of strength, places of flexibility, all the while setting the mind to be present with the full range of experience, tuning again into the quality of your breath, the sensations in the body, and the mind and the emotions. And then a long, deep breath in. And let's reawaken the body, your hands and feet, the arms and legs, the head, the neck, the torso. We'll bend the knees all the way up into the chest. A little squeeze, roll over onto the side and all the way back up. Closing the eyes for a moment, breathe steadily and deeply. Feel again the connection between breath, body, and mind. Lengthen and deepen the breath. And gently bring your hands together, a long, deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love.